Hey everybody, welcome back. Long time no here. Um, I just wanted to do a um, uh, my most used items for 2017. Um, they're going to be basically luxe items. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to actually do like some beauty products in there because I've been really loving some beauty items. Um, if I have enough time where the video won't drag on so long, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to get right into it. So first, I would like to start with my shoes. Um, these are the Gucci Slide On Loafers. Um, I think they're called the Prince Towns. Um, I've used <laughs> these to death. Um, I initially purchased these, I believe, um, maybe back in the fall. And I was like confused on keeping them because I had some other loafers that look exactly like this except it has the back is closed in and then I got rid of them and then I kept thinking about it and I went and repurchased them like in the winter like a few months later and this is when it was like the big thing so I've used these to death I wore these all summer and spring I wore them to work I work in like a, a office setting <laughs> Um, and I wore these all the time and they look great with suits and blazers. They're, they're awesome. I love these. I forgot what they retail for. Um, I want to say they may be retail for maybe, um, 600. I'm not sure. The second item are these, my Chanel Espergils and the black lambskin leather. I use these to death. You can tell I just use them to death. They look great for a lot of issues. I wore them so much that it's kind of coming apart here. I don't think they can fix it, but hey, I definitely got my money's worth out of these. I think these are like seven or eight hundred. I'm not sure. Six, I got them before it was a price increase. So it might have been like six seventy-five or something. But these are the black espadrilles. I love these. I wore these all summer and spring. They did get caught in the rain once. And it's like when it kind of got wet, they felt heavy and stiff. So be careful not to wear these in like around a lot of water. The other item is my Chanel um, Classic Clutch. I, I just love this bag. I didn't think I would love this bag as much as I did. This easily has climbed to the top of one of my favorite bags. It just goes with everything. Like, it, you know, it and it holds a lot. Like, a lot. It holds a lot. I just, like, switched out of this into my um, other purse. But I use this thing to death. Like, 17, it, it had so much use. And I think the reason why I kept wearing it, because I was able to stuff it inside of my, my um, tote bag when I wasn't using it. So the next one would be my beloved um, Neverfull GM in a Damier Eben print. I think I got this last, um, I don't know, I think I got it last fall. Fall. I just switched out of this probably in June of this year. So I wore it all that time. And it actually had some white marks. Like I was using it so much that it like rubbed up against stuff. Now I have not switched the stuff out of this. I still have like all this stuff in it. This scarf, I usually always just keep that in there to kind of disguise what I have in there. because. I had a girl at work that was just like constantly looking in my bag, like constantly just really obsessed with what was inside of my bags. Um, I got this from Target. It's just like a tassel and it has um, the letter A on it. But I use that a lot, like a lot. That's one of my faves. So then we can get into the smaller goods. This here is the Chanel O case, which is like a, it kind of is like close to maybe the um, mini pochettes by LV. But this is in the red lambskin with um, gold hardware. I do not have 
the C's that usually come on this. I don't know why, but I don't have it. Um, I keep this thing loaded with stuff. It's like a little catch-all with my medicine. But I use this as a wallet, as a catch-all. It goes in every single bag that I have. Every, well, except one. I have like this Coach Abbey bag that nothing fits in there but the bare essentials. But this thing, I've used it to death and the wear and tear on it is like non-existent. Wow, I didn't think the lambskin would be that durable. And it like bounces all around in my bags and rubs and it looks brand new. Who would have thought? But, you know, and then I'm kind of like in between because lambskin, like I'm so scared of it. But I love the look and feel of it. If I had a choice, I wish the lambskin was as durable as caviar because I will always choose lambskin. But the caviar is the best for longevity. But I, I really need to get another one of these and caviar. But I use this thing to death. I think I used this almost like six months straight once I got it. The next one is another O case. They name all their stuff O cases. But this is in the black caviar with the camellia print with the gold hardware. I wonder if something's in it. I just kind of grabbed stuff. I didn't check to see if stuff was in it. But, um, and I have no idea why I have two cards in there. Maybe one goes, oh, you know what it is? I have two authenticity cards, but I think one goes to my key holder. And you can't fit that in there, so... But this thing, yeah, used so much. This is definitely, in my opinion, it's kind of better than the mini pochette. These little pouches, I have two, one in lambskin and one in caviar. And um, these are bomb. I think because it opens so wide, it just is very wide. And you can stretch it a lot. Definitely, I'm a pouch girl though. But I love this item. The next one is my beloved round coin purse by Louis Vuitton. Uh, I have this thing full of coins. Full of coins. And I love it. Like, I put it in all my bags. Like, it always comes in handy. I put safety pins in here sometimes. Another piece that I use the crap out of is my earbud holder. I didn't think I would get that much use out of this, but I did. Um, I'm currently not using it because my son took my headphones. He is broke and he was like panicking because he couldn't talk on the phone with it. So I just haven't been back to buying me any more headphones. Um, I really do need to. I've been using my Beats by Dre. And um, those things are ginormous, you know. I like my headphones because I use them at work, but I have like this old ratty pair that I just keep there, but it like always shorts out. So I need to go pick one up actually this week. But I use this thing continuously since I bought it. And it's just like a headphone holder from Louis Vuitton. Awesome. The next piece would be my Chanel brooch. This thing gets so much love. So much love. Um, I wear it. I don't really wear mine on sweaters and stuff. I just wear them on my coats. So I basically just get the most wear in like the fall, winter, spring. Um, I don't really wear them in summer because I don't wear coats and I don't wear heavy sweaters. So I never, I don't wear them on like my t-shirts and stuff. But this thing here, once I bought this, I had like everybody in my office wearing brooches. Okay, like no one ever wore brooches until I start wearing this particular. I had the one with the crystals and it was like very gaudy, but I still wear mine. But this one here, like everyone loved the simplicity of it. And I don't know, everybody in my office and I even switched offices. And once they saw this, everybody started buying them and trying to get one. So awesome piece to like spruce up your scarves and jackets. I love it. Um, the next one is my, I got too much in here to show you what's inside, but this is my, um, LV pocket agenda. This thing is so old. It is so beat up. It needs to be reglazed. It is so crazy. 
but um this is my favorite piece i use this every single day single day um i like write down my schedule in here and just what happened for it it's almost like a little diary and it fits in practically all of my bags except that coach abby bag but my total fave i hope this video doesn't go too long so the next one is my LV um, sunglasses case and the MM. I really want the PM. Um, I don't know. I keep looking at Hey June's um, um, PM case. And hers is just so cute and petite. But I, I went with the bigger. Back when I bought this, they had the PM then. But I'm like, oh, well, I want the bigger one cause in case I want to put my sunglasses in it. But I do use it for sunglasses and my regular glasses, which are small. But once i got these glasses these are my um chanel round well these aren't the rounds they're similar to it um but i wish i could kind of so you can better see it but these are my sunglasses by chanel um these things are they like fit any face shape I have a very, very, very round face, and they look good, but I do regret that this part here, because when my face is so fat, that it, like, digs into my cheeks a little bit, and it leaves those lines, and when I'm wearing makeup, I can't wear them, but they are, like, the most awesome sunglasses. These sunglasses here is the reason why I'm, I don't purchase black sunglasses anymore. I like the lens coloring of these. They don't, sunglasses are so depressing to me like the the black ones they're so dark like it make it could be sunny outside and it just feels dreary and ugh. when i have them on i want to look at the world like in a happy bright place so it, with my ray-bans i got the color blue so it makes everything look a little bit more cheerier instead of that dark gray cast that it has but um i had my eye on the ones that jerusha couture had oh and you guys she gave me a shout out from a question I had on her video for Vlogmas, I think it was 25, I'm not sure. And I felt like Michael Jackson touched my hand. Like I wanted to pass out, like Jerusha said something about me, right? I don't even think she really considers herself like the it girl in this community, but she's the bizarre, okay? The bomb. And I love watching her videos. So if you don't know who she is, check her out, Jerusha Couture. But she has the Gucci, um, newest sunglasses i don't know what you call them but they're like this huge frame and um i want them but they only come in their dark lens and i don't want to i know i won't wear them because they're so dark i don't want to look out at the world through dark lenses call me crazy so those and here's another one that isn't lux but i got these from like sunglass hut this is an eyeglass case soft case and i always put my glasses in here when i can't fit the big case in my purse or if it's taking up too much room so this is awesome to not damage the glasses um so i made it through y'all and it's only 13 minutes so i'm gonna get into beauty so as far as beauty goes this chanel otandra i think this is the 1.7 let's see if it tells me yeah 1.7 ounce um i bought this i want to say late last year I'm almost finished. I never really finish perfumes, okay? This fragrance is so nice, soft. I get so many compliments when I wear it. So, you guys, you should check that out. But this is my fave, one, well, one of my faves. The next one that I actually ran out of, I had to buy another one because I love it so much, is by Creed Love & White. Very popular. I need to just buy the big one because... I wear it so much I love it I get so many compliments on it but this is the, like the perfect soft smell like it's not too overpowering it's just like a soft powdery elegant smell I don't know how to explain it but it is not cheap and that's why I keep buying the small ones I am not rich I do not have like um that was a good catch y'all somebody need to give me props for that like I almost dropped it every video I almost dropped something and I never catch it and I caught it. So I need somebody to give me props in the comment section for that gully ass catch I just did. But anyway, this here I think was like almost 200 and something dollars for this small 
this is it doesn't tell me how many ounces i don't know but it's very tiny if you get the next size i think it's like 400 and it goes up like super high i don't know but i do have another one favorites this is my favorite i think this is my favorite perfume in the universe so the next one is some mascara um this is the chanel volume volume mascara and the waterproof uh, let's see if it says it. Le, Le Volume de Chanel. So, volume. It gives you volume. Now, I have the most sparse, non-curly eyelashes in the universe. Um, these give you so much volume and thickness, and it gives it a slight curl. I love this stuff, but it is ridiculously expensive. I think it retails for like $32. So what I do whenever I like buy Chanel other beauty products or something, I always ask for like the sample size and use those. And those are awesome. Um, the next one would be my um, Chanel Rouge Coco Shine and 96 Aura. I want my camera never wants to... Well, it's not a camera, it's my cell phone, but it's like a purpley, it looks super dark. It does not come off that dark at all. On me, my face is a lot lighter than my lower body, but this is like the most moisturizing stuff ever. And this isn't cheap either. It's like $36, if I'm not mistaken, but I love this stuff. The Rouge. The Rouge Coco shines are bomb. So I made it through that. So I kind of want to do one more. I hate that this video is going to be so long, but I want to do some other beauty favorites. So this one isn't really beauty, but this is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Sleep Lavender and Cedarwood Pillow Mist. This stuff is so relaxing. It makes your linen smell so awesome. Like that quick spritz, the you know, I, I spray it on my bed before I leave every morning to kind of give it that refreshing smell. Um, it retails for $13.50, but, you know, they always have sales or whatever on this. I don't know what they call this. This is the aromatherapy line. So, you guys should check that out. They come in other flavors, but this is my favorite. The next one is going to be another Bath and Body Works, and it is this. Um, this is the Coco Loco Shea Butter. This stuff is so thick and moisturizing. It retails at $4. You probably can't see it, but this stuff is bomb too. What's another? Oh, this is my new favorite one. So you guys are going to laugh. But this Poopery, oh my goodness. These are kind of expensive too. I think it's like 5 or 8 bucks for this. I'm not sure yeah about five or eight dollars i'm not sure but you spray this in before you poop and you spray it in the toilet maybe like three to five sprays it's very potent and strong and it captures and knocks out smells trust me now i use it for when i'm at work and i drink a lot of coffee we all know coffee stimulates your, your system so i don't want to offend anybody in the bathroom it's not nice not cool so i use this it works lavender vanilla smells the best to me they have other flavors citrus is pretty good i also have a big one for my family because um yeah my family man man oh man so you guys this works it like really works and you get it at like walmart target i get mine because you get you have the coupon for the 20 percent off um at bed bath and beyond so i use that so my favorite primer is smashbox primer water now this i think is like 12 bucks if i'm not mistaken it's very tiny i need to buy the big one but i find that i don't like buying the bigger ones because i always do my makeup on the go and i can't fit it in my makeup bag so i always just keep buying these smaller ones but um but this i don't use beforehand i, I use this to set my makeup and uh it, it just brings it right back to life um, I did notice when I did use it before my makeup, it did kind of help stop with the oiliness. And my skin is ridiculously oily. I don't think there's no product out there that will just really stop how oily my face gets with makeup. Like, I've tried everything except that 
what do people use? Milk and magnesia or something or something, some medicine they put on their face. That's the only thing that I haven't tried and people say that's the best. But this does kind of hold it off, hold it at bay. It gives me another hour or two before it starts really getting oily. So in saying that is another primer is also by Smashbox is the um, Photo Finish um, Primer. This does blur any imperfections and it holds the oiliness at bay, but it's kind of a universal one. I can use this and I do other people's makeup. Um, I can use this on dry skin too, but if you're super dry, I would use the hydrating one. You really need to hydrate, but this is more a universal one. You can use it on very oily to dry skin. Um, but it does blur pores and any imperfections you have and it helps your makeup application go on more flawlessly i like that so my ultimate favorite items and most used of 2017 and you can see too that i had to buy another one of these um these two are almost gone um and that's bad because I mean I take a lot of poops. And then this is my third bottle. I love this stuff. Um, but these here are the Becca multitasking powders. I think they retail for $38. I'm not sure. I have mine in tan and which I use all over my face, tan. And then I use dark golden, which is what I contour with or bronze. Um, you have to excuse my background if you saw that but it's very junky in here um but these powders you can use for anything setting foundation bronzing contour they are the bomb i love them i think that's like i bought each color like four times i blow through it so much next we have the dry clean brush cleaner from sephora it's an instant um, dry brush cleaner like you spray it and rub the makeup out of your brushes if you are a makeup artist okay and you're doing multiple people and you're trying to switch between you really quick this stuff is the bomb it literally gets all that stuff out it really does you know this does not to me substitute for like a thorough cleaning but it does a damn good job but if you're in a rush and you have a lot of people, but it is expensive. And this is the only size they have. I think it costs $14. Um, you get quite a few sprays. Like you probably got to spray your item twice to get it pretty in a good, decent. Uh, like if you use a big brush, like two times. Well, not any brush. About two times and you get a towel or paper towel, rub it out. Does the job. I love it. And then my last two products are from Morphe Cosmetics. And did you guys peep that Ulta is selling Morphe makeup and brushes now? What? And they give the better um, deals, Ulta. They have like the 10% off and the 20% and the, you know, $10 sometimes. But this brush here is the M55. This is my favorite brush in the Eternity universe. This brush is bomb for bronzing and like contouring or even all over powder applications. This is a real hair. I don't know what hair that is. It may be like sable. I don't know. Now I have to warn you if you have allergy to like this, the, um, the hairs this can make your hair your face kind of itch a little bit if you have a sensitivity to the hairs um, i think i have a sensitivity to some of the real hair brushes so um i make sure i prime my face pretty good before i put this right on my face like i would just because i have a sensitivity or some type of allergy to any hair i don't care what brand or something about it you know, the only one that doesn't bother me is a Tom Ford. I think they use some type of real hair on their brushes, but it doesn't bother my face. I don't know what type of hair it is. But the other places, no matter Chanel, whoever, um, the hairs, so priming kind of helps it out. The next one is part of their gold collection, which is Y10. 
and this is I use it for the same like contouring and bronzing um, balm the hair is a very sensitive this is synthetic though I don't think this is an actual hair but it is very easy to clean which I love it doesn't come loose like right here at the base even after washing like if you wash it so many times the water will go down the barrel and kind of make it loose I haven't had that with that this I kind of had the issue with but because I know it's and I'm gonna tell you I own three of these because I love it so much three I own two of these but I have it in that gun metal collection it's the same brush with a different name but I keep that one at work but it's the silver collection instead of the gold but they're like basically the same thing but these are my two favorite brushes in the universe and they're cheap I think this may have been like I don't know maybe 10 bucks this one was maybe 10 bucks and I always get the coupon code so that's pretty much all I had um this went 25 minutes yikes so those are my favorites for 2017 I would love to you know see you guys as most used items I was kind of inspired from um, minks for all and hey June for there so I just want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a fabulous new year full of love and good health and prosperity and I will check you guys out later see ya